Hey guys, welcome back. And yes, I know the sun is in my eyes and that's fine with me because I'm not so much concerned with seeing anything that might be in front of me as I am with seeing what might be behind me. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to, to tell until I go in, upload this video later and check the footage for the back play because I can't see back there either because of the sun in my eyes. So, I'm really expecting you guys and counting on you guys to get my six today, okay? Guys, you know what? Before we start all this, let me make a couple knocks. And yes, it's morning, and I'm usually doing this just before dark. I'm going to explain to you why I'm out here doing it this time of day. But before I say anything more, let's let people know, well, or let's let whoever's out here know we're here. We'll do two, that's good for now, okay? So I'm, you know, I'm gonna put that flat on the ground so it's not in your line of vision. So just check out what's going on back there. <clears throat> so I wanted to come out here this time of day because of the lighting, okay? A lot of people are saying they're seeing movement, they're seeing dark objects, they're seeing all these things in a backdrop. And, you know, I'm kind of wondering how much of that's a play on light. Well, let's take a look at it through a different light, and maybe it'll look differently. So that's why we're out here in the morning instead of in the evening. But I also wanted to address some, uh, some comments, some concerns, genuine concerns I've been seeing in the comment section of these videos. Uh, this one's crazy. Well... Really, it's not crazy. Okay, before I even address these, I'm gonna tell you where some of the questions and comments are coming from because of these chicken eggs and something that just happened with the chicken eggs last night. And if you've been following this saga, you've seen some videos on here where I've come out at night because I've heard something in one of them, the chicken door seemed as if it was broken off. And guys, that wood that that thing's made out of is past the point of really being of, of any good use and maybe just the wood's decayed. That's what I was thinking, but so we have these chickens, we've got, you know, we've got them split up. We've got seven over in one pen behind the house, behind the woodshed. Then we've got five we moved over here into this new pen in our garden uh, about two weeks ago where we're trying to get them to, to fertilize the, uh, the soil before we plant this spring. Let me make sure I'm giving you guys views from all angles as the sun goes behind clouds. Well, they hadn't been laying eggs. None of our chickens were laying eggs, which is very common in the winter when it gets cold. So we bought a light for, well, I started hanging my lantern up in the one pen and those hens started laying eggs about a week later. So I thought, well, let's put lights in both pens. Maybe they'll start laying eggs. So we put a new light in this, in this new pen where we moved these other chickens to till up the soil for the garden, but I'm still not getting any eggs. So. People started saying in the comments that Bigfoot Sasquatch was coming in and eating my chicken eggs at night. You know, when we had the video of the broken door, people were like, see, I told you, Bigfoot Sasquatch coming in, he's eating your eggs at night. And I'm thinking, no, it's not Bigfoot Sasquatch. My chickens just aren't laying eggs. Well, I got to thinking about it. You know, we're all creatures of habit. My habit is to come out in the mornings, let the chickens out, give them food, get them, give them water, check for eggs, and, you know, I'll come out and talk to them some during the day, watch them, and then I shut them up at night. But I only check for eggs in the morning. So people were saying, okay, Bigfoot Sasquatch is coming in and eating your eggs, the chicken's eggs at night. So last night, I thought, you know, when I go out, okay, there were no chicken eggs yesterday morning when I opened the chickens up. So I'm assuming they're still not laying. So last night, before I shut them up, I thought, you know what, let's check for eggs. Guys, I got four hens I'm keeping in this garden down here. I had three eggs last night. So all of a sudden, I go all this time without getting any eggs, or at least I think I'm not getting any eggs. Well, I'm checking in the morning. I'm not checking late at night to see if they're laying them during the, during the day. And now all of a sudden, here's three eggs at night. And I had to ask myself the question, if I hadn't gotten those eggs, rewind and listen, that was a knock. So was that. So, what I'm thinking 
is have these eggs been here every evening i just didn't know because i didn't look and if so why aren't they there in the morning are some of these people making these comments correct Okay, so now I'm gonna answer the question about the beanie. I'm gonna tell you why I'm not wearing it right now, but why I do sometimes. Not that this even is deserving, that this question is deserving of an answer. And I'm not talking about you, Pat. That's one of our longtime subscribers who would never be insulting. And she's just curious. But I know a lot of other people have come on talking about, no, oh, yesterday some, some girl said, well, you can tell this is fake and he's not serious because he's wearing a beanie and it's still got the tag on it. Okay, number one, I wear the beanie because my beautiful bride got it for me for Christmas. And I love her tremendously, and I love the beanie. Number two, why is the tag still on my beanie? Am I trying to be, what was that old girl's name? Country music. She was on the Grand Ole Opry many years ago. I was a kid in the 70s. I think she died in the 80s. Minnie Pearl. No, I'm not Minnie Pearl's grandson, and it has nothing to do with Minnie Pearl. It has with, or with Minnie Pearl. It has to do with my love for my wife. Okay, my wife's from the Philippines. I lived over there for six years. Um, something that used to drive me nuts is when I'd buy her nice stuff, she wouldn't use it. She'd store it away. She'd put it away. She'd wrap it up in plastic so that, that the elements couldn't, you know, make it mildew or whatever. And she'd put it away like a, like a hoarder. And I'm like, what's going on with this? Well, it took me some time to realize this is what was going on. She grew up in a, in a, in a level of adjunct poverty those of us who were born and raised in the U.S. will never know. And as a result of this, anytime she would get something super, super, super nice, she wanted it to last. She wanted to keep it long term. So, And this was so common. Her mother did this. And, you know, we have a subscriber. I don't know if she's watching this, this video or not. But she actually sent us the same question in the comments. She said her son has, has married a, a beautiful Filipina lady and... They got her all this nice stuff for Christmas, and they were kind of shocked because as she was opening her gifts, she would get all excited and say, oh, I love this. This is so nice. I'm going to put this away in the closet and not use it for five years. And this lady was like, Kevin, can you help me with this? Because I know your wife's Filipina. What is this, a cultural thing or something? So I explained it to her then like I'm explaining to you now. So my wife is slowly but surely getting over this. you know. And you're like, some people have said, yeah, but she's not in the Philippines anymore. She's not poor like that anymore. Um... Well, guys, you know what? I got home from the war 10 years ago, and sometimes I still wake up in nightmares. This girl was raised. She lived for decades. She was third world poor. You can't, it's, that stuff just doesn't leave overnight. So in any way, the tag on my beanie is kind of like an endearing way for me to kind of poke and prod and jest with her in an affectionate way, not to make fun of her. But to say, you know, this is something about you that I really, it's unique to you or about you and something I appreciate and find endearing. So I'm going to leave the tag on my beanie. Doesn't mean I'm not taking any videos that I make, not seriously. But here's where things get even stranger. This hat on my head right now, I brought it out to wear for this video. I had it in my back pocket, okay? So I'm wearing a, the, the, the beanie thing and I don't want to show you the beanie because you might get offended. Maybe the tag will offend you. But I thought, well, I'm not going to wear that beanie in the video because I want him to believe. I detected movement over there in the same direction that knock came from earlier. So I'm going to just switch around a little bit. I, again, I can't see if I look into the phone. So you guys watch for me because this sun's blinding me. So I didn't wear the beanie because I want you to believe the story about the eggs because it's true. I usually check in the morning like almost always. They haven't been there. I checked last night. There's eggs. So I had this hat that's on my head now in my coat pocket I'm wearing. Not my back pants pocket, but my actual coat pocket. Because when I came up here, the plan was to put it on, and then trust me, as soon as I'm done recording, I'm gonna put the beanie back on my head, because it's cold. It's cold today. 
So I get up here, I get ready to make this video and tell you about the chicken eggs and, and you know, come around to this final question I'm going to ask you here at the end about, is it time for us to call a professional Bigfoot Sasquatch hunter? Are all these things going on around here, d does this mean it's time to bring in the professionals? So anyway, my hat's not in my pocket and I know I put it in my coat pocket. So I search, I search, it's not there. So I think, well, I must have dropped it in the chicken pen. So I walk back down the trail, go to the chicken pen, it's, it's not in there. I come back up, I look again, and I think, well, maybe I actually didn't put it in my pocket. It's in the house. I thought, well, make the recording with the beanie on. Who cares about that girl that has this theory? I mean, I've got theories about worms and the type of sticks you use to bang with or knock with. Maybe this girl has a theory about beanies with tags on it, you know? I don't have to try to debunk her theory. I'm asking people not to try to debunk mine. I mean, unless they have some sort of evidence I don't. And I thought, nah, just just go get the hat. You know, maybe there's just maybe that girl had some bad experiences with beanies or something with tags on them once upon a time. You don't want to bring that trauma back to her. So I start going back down to the house. I go to the chicken pen and I just happen to look over and this orange hat is laying right in front of the gate of the chicken pen. It was not there. I did not see it. I can tell you that much. Okay, I did not see it. Maybe it was there and I didn't see it. Maybe those eggs had been there in the mornings and I haven't been seeing them. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe there's stuff back here we're not seeing. Maybe we're seeing stuff that isn't there. I don't know. But it all begs me to ask this question because I've seen this in the comments. Is it time for me to call in the professional Bigfoot Sasquatch hunters? I don't know. I'll throw that out there for you. Let me know what you think. Make sure you're taking a good look around because I'm getting ready to wrap this up and get that beanie with the tag on it back on my head and go spend the rest of the day with that beautiful bride of mine who got me that beanie with the tag on it because she saw me eyeballing that beanie every time we walked by Mincer's down on the corner in Charlottesville. Been wanting a UVA beanie for years, but I wouldn't buy myself one because I'm thrifty. And uh, I already had a toboggan that was working just fine. I didn't want to shuck out the money for a new one and bless her heart. She bought me one anyway. If you had someone in your life like that, you'd probably leave the tag on it too. And maybe you do, and if you do, start leaving tags on things for them. Do another knock or two and party and see what happens.